There are few pirates on the sea that wake up in a tavern thinking, I'm gonna be a merchant today, and that for good reason. I mean, take me and my crew as an example. The Reaper's Bones are the indisputable best company on the seas because they literally do not care about what you bring to them. They'll take it, and given your emissary standing, they're even gonna pay extra for it. Why would we want to raise a merchant emissary and be railroaded into a rigorous sailing schedule enforced by the company when we could instead just go do whatever we want and still make a profit? Sounds like my office job all over again. Pirates long for free. Freedom, and that just doesn't align with what the merchants are trying to do. Though with that said, I haven't actually ever tried to be a merchant, so maybe I'm judging them too harshly? I always say don't knock until you try it, so I guess that would only be fair. And much to my surprise, my very first merchant voyage was a lot more eventful than I anticipated. I would experience the struggles of a merchant trying to deliver his goods and time, the anxiety of being interrupted by other pirates, and the unexpected hardship that comes with just trying to do your job. I suppose all that is left to say is get into your uniform, dust off that clipboard and get ready for another chapter of the Sea of Tales. When my crew and I decided to become merchants for a day, we didn't exactly think that this would be a difficult task. A boring one, maybe, but definitely not difficult. All we have to do is go raise an emissary flag and we're off to the races, right? Wrong. Turns out there's more to being a merchant than sailing. We actually needed some kind of purpose, a destination if nothing else. We picked up a voyage in hopes of that giving us direction, but it didn't take long for me to feel overwhelmed by the nature of the merchant lifestyle. Okay, so there's more, like, stuff that I can buy here. I'm wondering if that's just gonna level up our emissary standing. Don't ask me why I'm buying this. I, I just am, okay? What do we do with them? How do we filter them? That's the real question, isn't it? What are we doing with all these? I have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. Cliff, yeah, that's a dope how sword. many did you make? Uh, it's just about 30. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> okay. Now to find out where to go to do this. What is this? I have Wait, no this idea. This is not a map. I do not seas. know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so what is this? <laughs> I see a butterfly. Wait a second. Origin Ancient Spire Outpost. Okay, so we, we should go towards Ancient Spire Outpost. Let me find out what it is for you. And go north from there, I guess. We are at Ancient Spire Outpost. Oh, go north from there, I guess. There's a, there's a Reaper's bounty. Even the game is trying to get us to like be Reaper's again. The temptation to cancel the project right away was big. Obviously, we weren't exactly taking it seriously. Oh, look at these cute little merchants doing their cute little merchant voyages, we thought. But little did we know at the time that we would come to regret not following the Reaper's bounty when it presented itself. Well, for the time being, we had no choice but to set sail and begin our first day under the flag of the merchants. We were caught by surprise over how swiftly that emissary flag leveled up, even when just picking up what we considered to be trivial items. But naturally, the big ticket item would be completing our voyage, and as we were aimlessly sailing the seas, I had a sudden epiphany about what it was that the merchants actually wanted us to do. Uh, actually, you know what? I just- so, is the quest that it's somewhere on the way? I think so. I think it's a sunken ship. Because I think we went past it. This is- this is what it is? Uh, Captain's Key? What is this? Yeah, this is it then. Oh, nice. I got two craps. Merchant. What is all this stuff? Log entry. What? Okay. Did they I make this fun? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> this is new to me. Now, if you haven't yet realized that it doesn't take a college education to become a reaper, then watching us trying to do merchant voyages will probably do the trick. I care little for what cargo ends up on my ship since I just dump it at Reaper's hideout anyway, but I would lie if I said that seeing new shiny pieces of loot didn't get me excited. A bit less exciting was the fact that, apparently, there was a sloop off in the distance that might or might not have been stalking us. Under any other circumstance, I would welcome the challenge, but in this case, I felt awful fully attached to the items I had just collected. We ignored the other ship for the time being as we sailed all throughout the night to find the sunken vessel our employers had sent us to uncover. Once it was located, we would get to collect everything they had on board, and because this too was a merchant vessel, we were guaranteed to level up our emissary standing quite substantially. Now I'm gonna be real with you guys, I felt kinda bad. I've always been making fun of the merchant alliance because their voyages did not include combat of any kind. The Odo Souls has you fight skeletons non-stop, the Reapers have you attack anything that moves, and even the Gold Horus need to fend off skellies from time to time. The merchants were the only ones who got away avoiding combat at all times. And well, that is exactly what we intended to do. The sloop that we saw earlier decided to roll up to the outpost that we just had to go to, and we decided to remain passive for as long as possible. I mean, we just got ourselves a new voyage and we're ready to head out anyway, so no reason to start a fight, right? Wait, are, there, are they stopping? Oh, they stopped. 
No, they well, ran yeah, to the they, island. They, what they are you stopped. talking about? I have been conditioned to take this as an opportunity to go commit murder. No, 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 no. We go. We, we just, we, we leave. We leave them alone. We're not reprocessing. today. Uh, uh, I know. Shit. I know how tempting it is. The I know. Free content. We, we, it's content. We leave. We need. It's content, Cliff. I'm going to propose a new quest. I will forget about this real quick. Don't worry about it. I knew that other ships could create problems for me as a merchant, but never did I think that the actual challenge was keeping my crewmates from venturing off the righteous path. We had to get out of there in a hurry before... Before I lost control of Brandon, but in all that commotion, I end up forgetting something very important. We had to talk to Tess at that very outpost we just left. It was a bit of an awkward reunion, considering how readily we decided to head out, but alas, we couldn't leave without our cargo, and at that point, we had no way of avoiding the crew of that other ship. The two of them, while potentially a little drunk, did not appear as though they meant any harm. I mean, not shooting us on sight was a great start, but when we asked them about where we could find Tess, they were very willing to help us. Now, I'm sure that if you were to ask either Brandon or Alex about their version of this story, they would tell you that they tried to keep the two drunkards busy so that they don't mess with our goods. But in reality, they were just being lazy bums to have me do all the work for them while they were having a very weird conversation. Well, progress was being made with or without their help, though eventually our two slooping friends found themselves a little bored. They're on our ship now. Um, that's not good. I'm gonna go on their ship. Why? No, stop. <laughs> stop it, Brandon. I just, they went on ours. Brandon, not everything you do has to be a reaper move. Yes, yeah, it's not a reaper move. I just wanted to take their stuff. You could also merchant. just help us so this doesn't take half an hour. I am protecting our ship. Found They're it. bringing something on board. Mind Floyd, uh, I have present for you. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were seriously something else. This is definitely not how I imagined an encounter with another crew to go, but I suppose the merchant emissary flag just has something magical about it. Either way, the gift to us was a crate of fireworks, which I actually appreciated a lot. I decided to return the favor and give him a crate of wood in turn, you know, because their ship ran into an island at the start of this encounter. And well, they seemed appreciative. <laughs> I don't know what kind of exorcism that guy was performing, but we really had to get going and he didn't seem to want to get off our ship. Since he spit in the face of our generous hospitality, I had no choice but to forcefully remove him from our ship and, well, it did end with him firing a shot at us, meaning that whatever happens next can solidly be considered self-defense. I was gonna make another cutaway joke about me sinking their ship, but in reality, they never repaired the hole they got from ramming the island, so yeah, they just sunk all on their own. From there on out, it was merchant business as usual. We delivered the goods on time to collect our coin before before taking on another voyage to search for yet more sunken vessels. I know there's at least one more type of voyage that would have us collect animals, but I already had a hard enough time keeping my crewmates managed. I didn't need a bunch of pigs and chickens to make that worse. I was also proven wrong about merchants never having to fight during their voyages. There were some creepy crawlers we had to take care of before being able to collect our cargo, and you can be certain that we did not let them put a claw on our goods. Quite some time had passed without us running into any other crew, and that definitely started to gnaw away at us. On the one hand, merchant voyages are about as chill a time as you can have on the seas, even in light of the deadlines you have to follow. But on the other hand, it's pretty much the exact opposite of what I would call exciting. PvE writers was getting the better of us, meaning that chaos would now rule the rest of this voyage. <laughs> you... <laughs> Come back, you. Can you pick me up? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Oh, now our ship's on fire. God, you can tell a boring merchant says we're lighting ourselves <laughs> on fire. Just That's so you true. Stuck. Merchant really is the worst. We're already turning on each other. Wait, what's this weak English? <laughs> you literally tossed the bomb at me, and you're about to do it again. See? You're about, I saw it. I saw the bomb in your I, head. I, I, was, I, I, had I saw it. I, no, no, yeah, no, sure. No, okay. No okay. evidence. Okay. No you, evidence. I almost set myself off the, <laughs> off the boat with that one. So. Yeah, you can tell that a voyage is leaving you unsatisfied when you begin turning on each other. For all the infighting that this has caused, there was still a mutual agreement about that being better than, well, the voyage itself. We were keen on finishing our job, so I leapt into the water to double check that we were at the right place. Alex had planned to drop the key down, but that ended up being very ill-advised. Sir? We needed to get closer. Well, we just ran it over, so... Good luck. No! No, the key! No! Please come back! Oh god, it, it just keeps swimming. Oh no, oh no. It's gone. Oh, it is? What the hell? I see it. No, I yeah, I see it out there. Brandon, keep eyes on it. I'm gonna climb the crow's nest so that you can hop back on the wheel. I, I see it, I see it. Please I get it. Please. I have it! It's in my hand! <laughs> At long last. Alright, back to the cruise <laughs> Wow! We went so far with this key. Alright, I got a hit marker on this keg. Be ready. Oh, I'm dead. 
<laughs> We're sinking really I'm, fast. I, I'm off the ship and very close to death. Brandon, your brother's an idiot. I, I got a hit marker. I saw the keg. Oh, really? You got a hit marker? Far. That's nice. I'm glad you got that hit marker. I got a hit marker on a keg. What yeah, is that about? That, yeah, that's really that's really cool. It's I can't 16, help but he was still on fire. I know. I'm in the middle of doing that. And Alex is counting, counting, counting. No, I, I, uh, I put out the fire that was up on top of the deck. And I guess it's right down below or something. Clearly, no, it was still on, on fire, deck. as you can see. No, <laughs> you killed me while it was on my hand. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, that is true. You did die. I forgot. I thought you put it down somewhere and forgot where you put it down. I forcefully put it down in response to an explosion <laughs> that killed me. After that whole ordeal, you can be certain that this will be the last ship I'd be diving for in the foreseeable future. I will admit though that my stance on the Merchant Alliance has changed a bit. It would be disingenuous of me to say that it is nice to always have a destination when sailing the seas. It happens fairly often that in our search for combat, we just end up floating the waters without finding anybody to fight for prolonged periods of time. Consistently acquiring loot and always being on the move with purpose is kinda nice. At the end of the day, I'm glad that I went on this voyage just to experience what the Merchant Alliance has to offer. While I stand firmly by my statement that they remain the worst emissary faction in Sea of Thieves, I do see myself raising that flag from time to time just to make sure I have something to do that isn't fighting skeletons or digging up castaway chests. Though a measly 100,000 gold for all that trouble does not feel nearly enough for me to want to dedicate myself to their faction. Either way, we decided to pay it forward to the next crew to set sail from this outpost and emptied all of our resource barrels for them to take. Next time, however, we will be setting our sights for more valuable treasure. Maybe a heist at the Fort of Fortune? That sounds like fun. But until then, Thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like on your way out if you enjoyed the story. Subscribe if you want to see more. And hey, if there wasn't enough combat for your liking, why not check out my last episode in which we decide to run a Reaper sloop through its bases? You can find the card on screen right now. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.